Hello guys, Christian here. So, Chemos 2023 it's launched and I'm ready to show you some of the enhancements that are available in this new version. So, mainly in Chemos 2023, the um, important op options, in my opinion, are in the milling side, which we have Euler angles, probing cycles, everything it's more and more developed in the probing area and then some, let's say, in the first look, small enhancements, but for me it is very important. Also, there are some options in turning, we have support for can cycle, threading operation and the TagDB, right now you have the tap cutting and tap rolling tools with subspindle attribute in the default TechDB. Another great enhancement is automatically reselecting the set post-processor from the default post-processor path. But first of all, what I want to show you, as mentioned earlier, it's regarding milling options because the most important enhancement, in my opinion, are in the milling uh, module. So, when you are machining a 3 plus 2 part, let's say 5-axis, somebody should, can call it 5-axis, you have the option and you need to use the option Euler angles. So, from this version, 2023, you have the Euler angles uh, method of calculating the rotary and tilt axis available for positional milling. It, it is very important to understand that 5-axis can mean 3 plus 2 or 5-axis simultaneous. Euler angles is 3 plus 2. Euler angles is needed when you manufacture, let's say, a part like this. You will have only one coordinate system of the program and then when you mill the two other sides, the machine can calculate the, uh, according to the Euler angles, the new coordinates. So, in the past, uh, in the past um, uh, versions of cameras, you can also do this. You are definitely uh, reliable on a good post processor. So, I just want to show you right now and tell you about the prerequisites for Euler angles method for 5-axis rotary milling in Camor. So you need, of course, this method to be enabled in the post-processor. You need in the setup mode, setup tab of the machine, 5-axis option, and in the posting of the machine dialog box, the rotation sequence must be defined within Euler angle group box. So we are talking here, I have a 5-axis machine selected, I have a post-processor, selected and in the posting this is the new option available so Euler angle rotation se sequence we have three options of course please note two things when we are talking about Euler angles mainly we are talking about G68.2 function tilted work plane in the mainly in the FANUC, uh, FANUC um, controller. This method will, is not applicable for 4-axis milling. It's not applicable for 4 and 5-axis continuous, simultaneous toolpath. And if the off option in the cameras override the computed Euler angle, then please ensure that appropriate Euler angles values are assigned as cameras will not validate the user assigned angles. But in conclusion, Euler method means G68.2 and G53.1. 68.2 will, uh, which means tilted or work plane, allows you and let the machine to calculate everything that it, it is uh, uh, necessary and 53 Point one is regarding the tool length, but in this case, when I have uh, I have three mil parts set up, face, rectangular pocket, 
on this side and rectangular pocket on the other side, I already have some uh, operations um, defined. So when I post process, of course, right now, I have the, the program already with the functions I told you about. Right now, you can choose the method for the Euler angles and, of course, you need a good post-processor for this. So, congratulations to the Camus development team for implementing inside the software this function. As far as I know, this is a good option and a good strategy to just implement it in the cameras. But in the end, to be honest, you will need a good post processor. So mainly this one, this is one of the most important option in cameras 2023. Another option is regarding the probing cycles because uh, the camel development team did a great job in every uh, in every version to add more and more probing cycles to the software. So right now I have here a probe operation. So for when you probe in Z direction, you have three point plane option. When you have X and Y, you have uh, you have you have angle measurement. You have fourth axis and X and Y. You have also angle measurement and X and Y. And very important from this, ver from this version, you have the possibility to have the probing for Rainy Show, which was the Fox launch and right now the support for Heidenheim uh, controller. Also, you can, from 2023, you can use the probing cycles in assembly mode. And another good enhancement is for the probing tool, you have the output through tip and center. And this is an, a, a good option also. Right now, I will switch to another, another part, let's say this part, and I want to talk to you about the tool selection logic based on flute length and feature depth. So, as far as I'm hoping everybody knows about the automation can be done in Camos regarding features and speeds and so on. But from Camos 2023, the tool selection logic, when you use expression option in uh, TechDB has been enhanced. enhanced. So the selection logic has been modified to consider the flute length of the tool, which is a great option when you have a good TechDB defined. And I'm hoping that everybody use the power of the technology database inside Camus. Also, another good, good uh, uh, enhancement, it's the uh, for Camos to consider the correct feed and space data based on stock materials in assembly mode. Right now, I want to show you the next one. I will not show you every options. I just uh, telling you about uh, what I show you it is the most important in my opinion. Another one, which is a small one, but for me, it is amazing. It's resizing tool select filter dialog box. So when you open, of course, um, an operation, and uh, you want to add another tool, you have this window, which until this version, which uh, was fixed, and right now you have this small enhancement, which is amazing for me. And most important, Camos 2023 will save this, let's say, uh, position. And another one, also for 2.5 axis, it's the linking of lead and lead, lead in, lead out parameters for linked contour mill operations is right now available. So right now I have this contour mill here and this contour mill here, one on two. And in all the versions, when you are linked, these two operations, everything was linked until lead in and lead out. Right now, if I 
use the operation, the function to lead in, to link control mill one with two and open again control mill one and go to lead in, lead out and let's say change to perpendicular and hit apply lead in to all, hit OK, regenerate the tool part. And right now I want to see that in contour mill 2 I have also a perpendicular lead in, uh, lead out. Another enhancement is also coming from the island uh, 2.5 axis. So you have when you define an island in Camos Island, in Camos or Solidos Cam means something uh, the tool needs to be. Uh, uh, we, we need for the tool to avoid. So right now, you, uh, until this version, we have island direction one to define it. Right now, I have we have also direction two. So the last option I want to talk to you about, it's you see here on this part, it's not the best part, but just to show you the, um, the option, machine cavities for volume mill. It's, it is very important that right now when you have an a complex part then you want to only the cavity to be machined by volume mill you have when you select an area clearance for example right now this is not the best example just to show you this machine cavities volume mill so these are the the let's say in my opinion the most important options in the new version of camort 2023 so we have Major enhancement Euler angles for 3 plus 2 machining. We have more probe cycles and my favorites 2.5 axis enhancement like linking the lead in, lead out, like uh, tool selection window, uh, and uh, so on. Of course, as you already know, if you have questions, leave a message on my YouTube channel or LinkedIn profile and I will try to answer it. Until the next video, if you have some suggestion about tutorial and what do you want from me, just give me a sign. So, stay safe until the next time and goodbye.